Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin. We're gonna be looking at the minimum, maximum, and the average price of Bitcoin discretized by year. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. We also do have the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com if you wanna know how I'm navigating these markets. Let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing we should note with Bitcoin is that it's easy to get consumed by one minute charts, one hour, four hour, one day, one week, one month, one month candles. But what we can do to sort of cut through the noise is to look at yearly timeframes. And so this chart shows the average price of Bitcoin discretized by year. And I think it's interesting because it generally shows areas of contraction and expansion. Now, if we overlay also the minimum price of Bitcoin, <coughs> um, again, not gonna edit that out. If we overlay the minimum price of Bitcoin and the maximum price of Bitcoin, you see the same general trend, right? You see the same general trend in that we get these areas of expansion and contraction. And to draw your eye, you know, to draw your attention to, to these phases, we can see that, okay, we generally move up, but the rate at which we're moving up is sort of turning over as we go. And before we get any type of you know, significant pullback or where things start to go sideways or stabilize somewhat and the trend is no longer going up exceedingly quickly, is, is somewhat taking longer, okay? Um, and so the, the implication again is, well, what if this one you know, continues to go out something like this and, and we get a period where you know, maybe the average price continues to just be a little bit humdrum for a while. Let's look at the table. This is interesting. So the average price of Bitcoin has increased most years. Okay, so we went from 17 cents since 2010 to 605 in 2011, 847 in 2012, 190 or so in 2013, up to 526. In 2015, the average price dropped down to a modest $272. From then we were back moving up to 566, 3,965, we continue moving up. And then in 2019, the average price dropped again. In 2020, we continued our move up. And then in 2021, we continued our move up again. But we should say that there, you know, there's not a, I mean, there, there's, a, there's a good possibility that the next average price of Bitcoin in 2022, I mean, it might not be, you know, these crazy, predictions that, that people are talking about, but it could just take us longer. We're still heading in the path that we all want to go in. It just, we need time, right? We need time and we need lots of it, okay? You'll also note that the minimum price generally increases as well, going from six cents to 30 to 4.33 to a modest $13.40. We, we decreased in 2015 and then we decreased again in 20, um, 2018. And so now the question is, well, 2021, we still have a lot, a long way to go. By the end of the year, the average price of Bitcoin, it, you know, it could be lower than $45,000. Right now, the price of Bitcoin is lower than $45,000. So every day that goes by, the average price of Bitcoin is in fact getting lower. The average price of Bitcoin in 2021. The minimum price could go lower than $29,000. It actually went below 29K already, but again, this is only daily closes. It does not include hourly, hourly candles. Remember, the, the price of Bitcoin at the beginning of 2021 was around $29,000. And that's also the same level that we've tested a couple times over the last couple of months. If you look at the maximum price, it also tells a similar story, but it, it has a way of showing you these crazy blow off peaks, of course, because you're looking at the maximum. For instance, while the minimum was 30 cents in 2011, the maximum was a modest $35. It's crazy to think that a 100x from the minimum to the maximum we know is a great return on investment but a 35 dollars bitcoin today seems like a complete pipe dream is you know likely never going to happen again uh, i would also contend that a thousand dollars is likely never going to happen again and that ten thousand dollars is likely never going to happen again um and when you look at these when you look at this you know you had in 2012, the minimum or the max was $15, but in 2013, it was 1151, okay? And, and so here, when you look at going up and down, 
2012 was a down year in terms of the maximum price, and so was 2014, it decreased, and then 2015, it decreased. And then it increased again in 2016 and 2017, but then in 2018, it decreased, and 2019, it decreased. And then it increased again in 2020 and so far, and 2021, not just so far, because we know that the maximum price is, is 63,576. Again, you might say, well, it was higher than that, but again, this is daily data. Okay, it's daily data, not hourly. Obviously, we know it went closer to like 64.8K by the at some point during that day. So we look at this and we say, well, you know, you don't necessarily have to see this, uh, you know, go to these crazy valuations of, you know, several hundred thousand dollars in 2021 for us to still be on course. I do think, for the record, I do think that Bitcoin will make it to $300,000, just not this year and not next year. And likely it's going to take a while, right? Likely it's going to take a while to get to those lofty valuations. I think it could get to a hundred grand or maybe between 100 to 200 grand, you know, within the next, within the next one to two years. But I, I think, you know, as we, and you might say, well, 300 grand is only, you know, it's three X a hundred grand. It, as the market cap gets higher and higher, it's going to become harder and harder to push that to push that valuation. So I, I believe we can make it there. So don't don't misunderstand me there. I believe we will make it there. It's just going to take a lot longer than a lot of people think, right? It's probably not going to happen this year. Probably also not going to happen next year either to get to three hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. One interesting chart is to plot the percent difference between the minimum and maximum price discretized yearly. And I often say, well, you're going to get diminished volatility over the macro scale. What does that mean? Well, look at this chart. You can see that the percent difference of the price of Bitcoin between the minimum and maximum price is generally decreasing. Okay. And, and over the next couple of decades, we could get to the point where the difference between the minimum and maximum is 10%. I mean, you know, maybe by 2030 or so, we could have a year where the difference between the min and max is only 10% or so. Uh, and maybe an upper bound of 10% by the 2050s, okay? So we cannot expect the price to go up 100x every four years forever as we need to understand the law of diminishing returns and the idea that a market capitalization moving higher and higher is going to take exponentially more volume to sustain those 100x moves. So the general implication is that the returns will diminish over time. The difference, the percent difference between the minimum and maximum price of Bitcoin discretized yearly is decreasing over time. It's not doing it monotonically, but it's still decreasing over time. 2021, you know, was supposed to be in terms of in terms of, uh, you know, these crazy volatility. The upside. A lot of people assumed that 2021 would just be nothing but a, a crazy bull market. But in fact, so far, the difference between the minimum and maximum price is only just over 100%. Because again, we started 2021 at almost $30,000. It was like $29,000. And now, we, we went, we, when we went to our local top, we went to around 64K. So you're talking about maybe 30K to around 60K. That's just over 100% move. So even in 2021, where the first several months were fueled by you know mania and greed, you still have a relatively low difference so far between the maximum and minimum price. Now, this could actually go up even if the local top is not is not, you know, passed in the 20, in the year 2021 because it's possible we go below 29k. And if we go below it, then the percent difference between the maximum and minimum price would be even different, okay? And that would be interesting because then the you're looking at the percent difference and a lot of people might assume you measure it from the beginning of the year to the end of the year and the beginning being the lowest and the end being the highest but it could be that the highest price in 2021 could be 64.8k and that the lowest price is either 29k or maybe we've yet to see it right maybe we've yet to see the lowest price we'll have to wait and see so i, I think this is an interesting chart because it, it sort of goes in line with what we talk about on the channel a lot the idea of diminishing returns okay and you see that even discretized yearly when looking at the percent difference between the minimum and maximum price of bitcoin if you guys like the content make sure you subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and also check out the telegram channel which you can find a link to in the description below remember to check out the premium list at into the cryptoverse.com if you want to know how I'm navigating these markets remember I don't have AdSense enabled I see some people say you know you publish all these videos uh, because you you know because you make money on ads. 
again, I, I don't have AdSense enabled. You, you shouldn't have to be, none of you should be watching ads on, on my videos. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to, to, to show you guys some of these charts. We've, we've talked about them many times before, but I thought it was time for an update. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon to turn on your notifications. I'll see you next time. Bye.